Mules Baseball is brought to you by Black's Flowers and Gifts, Canaan Bridge Church, Carnaby Square, Carter Trucking, Carter Turf and Tractor, Christina Copeland Country Financial, The Conard Financial Group, CSI Insurance Brokers, DiMaggio's Pizza and Pasta, Eagle Supply, The Fairfield Banking Company, FNB Community Bank, Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler, Napa Auto Parts of Fairfield, People's National Bank, RJ on Main, RJ on the Air, Rush Appliance and Furniture, Southern Illinois Whitetail Connection, Vaughn's Tire, Wabash General Hospital, Walters Buildings, Wayne County Farm Bureau, the Wayne County Health Department, and Wayne White Electric Cooperative.
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Veterans Field. It's a late addition to the Mule schedule, and they'll take on the Nashville Hornets this afternoon on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. We've got more of the pregame show coming up. You're, this is Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Are you looking for that perfect gift for that special someone? I bet Christy and the girls at Carnaby Square in Fairfield can help. They carry Famous Maker Boutique brand clothing and have one of the largest selections of Brighton jewelry and accessories around. It's not known as the little boutique with the big inventory for nothing. Make sure to check out Christy's live video on Facebook every Thursday for all the new arrivals. Open 9 to 5 Monday through Saturday with extended hours on Thursday. That's Carnaby Square, 115 East Main in Fairfield. If you're not a member of the Wayne County Farm Bureau, you don't know what you're missing. Members are eligible for a $500 special offer on four trucks, up to 20% discount at popular hotels, up to 40% off on HP computers, up to 40% off on Frigidaire, over 30% off on AMC movie tickets, up to $30 off tickets to Holiday World, and a whole lot more. Discounts are subject to change. Become a member of the Wayne County Farm Bureau today. Go to waynecfb.com slash membership and learn how. The Wayne County Farm Bureau, a membership that means something. No time to run to the bank? No problem. People's National Bank makes banking easy and convenient with PMB to go mobile banking. PMB to go allows you to deposit checks, pay bills, transfer money between accounts, view your statements, turn your debit card off and on, and much more, all on your smartphone. It truly is banking at your fingertips with PMB to go mobile banking. People's National Bank, member FDIC. The Southern Illinois Whitetail Connection proudly supports the FCHS Mules and wishes them great success this season. SIWC is a members-only hunting club based in Fairfield that offers its members access to thousands of acres offering the perfect habitat for Midwest game. SIWC members are allowed year-round access and are allowed to hunt during any legal Illinois hunt season. Go Mules from the Southern Illinois Whitetail Connection. Beautiful afternoon for baseball here at Veterans Field. I'm Mark Turner, Alec Vaughn alongside this afternoon. Alec, this is a welcome sight from what we've seen in the past couple of weeks. No rain, a little bit on the windy side, but a beautiful afternoon. Temperatures hovering right around 80 this afternoon at Veterans Field. And it's not too hot either. It's not 80 degrees like it has been the past two days. It's about 70-ish. <laughs> Mules come into this one. They are 7-8 and eight over on, uh, on the year. They beat Hamilton County 9-0 Tuesday. They'll be at Flora next Tuesday after this one. Nashville, they are 17-1 and one overall. This is a pretty good Nashville ball club. They beat Benton 10-9 on Tuesday. Their only loss coming to the... To a, uh, a Duquoin ball club that's pretty good as well. And they only lost that one. For nothing. nothing. This is a very, very good hitting ball club. Yeah, this is going to be one of the toughest opponents that you'll see besides uh, maybe Carmi and Harrisburg. <laughs> you better believe it. And this is a game just added yesterday, as a matter of fact. Just got the word from A.D. Justin Townsend yesterday afternoon. Glad we can bring it for you on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. More of the pregame show coming up. All right, you're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. When a Fairfield fire truck needs a repair, Cam's there to keep things rolling. And as part of the volunteer fire department, Justin's looking out for Cam and all of Fairfield. Everyone supports each other. And Wayne White Electric Cooperative supports them all with safe, reliable power for every one of our members. It's why REMCs exist. And together, it all works. You need insurance to help protect the things that mean a lot to you. You need coverage that's affordable because we all have a budget. I'm Christina Copeland and at Country Financial we get it. For close to 100 years we've offered insurance and financial services to help protect what's most important to you and help you prepare for the future. Best of all, we aim to get to know you and find solutions for your budget. In other words, we've got your back. I'm Country Financial Rep, Christina Copeland. Call me at 618-842-2185 to chat about your insurance needs today. 
Whether you're in the oil field, the farm field, or working on a backyard project right here in Fairfield, Eagle Supply can and will do what it takes to make it a success. Located at 1108 South 1st Street, Eagle Supply has the belts, hoses, or fittings you might need for the job you're doing. They also carry stainless and structural steel, hardware of any type, and parts for Fairbanks engines. Eagle Supply is open 730 to 430 Monday through Friday and Saturdays by appointment. With lawnmowers, tractors, utility vehicles, tillers, chainsaws, engine pumps, and more from brands like Echo, Exmark, Kubota, Kubota Engine, and Land Pride, Carter Turf and Tractor at 105 Airport Road in Fairfield is your destination for outdoor power equipment, whether you're a homeowner or a landscape professional. Plus, Carter Turf and Tractor has the parts and accessories you need for any job and the knowledge and experience to take care of all your service and repair needs. Carter Turf and Tractor open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Saturdays, 8 to noon. Live chat is open this afternoon. Tell yep. us where you're watching from, and we'll tell you hey as well. Yeah, we already have Rachel Reed coming. Go Mules. Welcome. Let's go ahead and get the lineups for you. Nashville, they are 17-1 and one over on the uh, on the year. They're led by the second baseman, Isaac Blazier. The number two hitter is going to be the shortstop, J.T. Malawi. The right fielder, Blaine Emblick, will bat third. The cleanup hitter is going to be the first baseman, Harrelson Joninia. Third base is going to be Will Dietrich. The catcher is going to be... Brady Stein, the left fielder, Lucas Dunn, and the number nine hitter is going to be Parker Renkin. The pitcher is going to be Evan Everhart, or Eberhart, this afternoon for Nashville. For the Mules, they'll lead off with Harrison, or rather Landon Harrelson out at second base. Caleb King over at third, bat second. The third place hitter is the first baseman, Logan Tullis. The left fielder, Crescent White, bats cleanup. Right fielder is going to be Dylan Fleener. He'll bat fifth. The catcher, Carson White, is in the number six hole. The pitcher, Ian Puckett, bats seventh. Center fielder, Jake Easton, is the number eight hitter. And the DH is going to be Riley Marshall. Jesse King will be at shortstop this afternoon. And that's who Marshall is going to bat for. Alec, this should be an awful good ball game here between the Hornets and the Mules. The Mules are a pretty good hitting ball club despite their youth. Yeah, they've had a, an up and down uh, week this week. Uh, they lost to North Clay Monday 3-2, uh, to two, and yesterday they got a good win against Hamilton County 9 to nothing. Busy, busy week here on Mule Nation for you. Tomorrow... We're going to have Frontier Community College softball versus Lakeland College, a doubleheader starting at 2 p.m. That will be on Bobcat Nation. Friday, join us for It's a Beautiful Day in Fairfield, 8.30 a.m. on RJ on the Air. Frontier Community College Bobcats baseball players Sam Sandy and Ethan Davis are our guests. Saturday, a couple of broadcasts for you. Frontier Community College Softball versus Wabash Valley, a doubleheader starting at noon. That's going to be on Mule Nation. And then the baseball team for Frontier, they've got a doubleheader against John A. Logan starting at 12 noon, and that one will be on Bobcat Nation for you on Saturday afternoon. We've got the National Anthem coming up. We'll get to that in just a minute. You're watching Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Whether you're a competitive athlete or want to enjoy a stroll around your neighborhood, orthopedic health is critical to your quality of life. The orthopedic and sports medicine team at Wabash General Hospital treats injuries and disorders of the bones, joints, ligaments, tendons, muscles, and spine so you can return to moving through life with greater comfort and ease. To schedule an appointment, call 618-263-6400. Pizza is their passion at DiMaggio's Pizza and Pasta in Fairfield. So whether you're ordering a specialty pizza or building your own, you know your pizza will be made with the freshest ingredients and cooked to perfection every time. DiMaggio's also serves up some of the best pasta and salads around. Oh, and don't forget about their sandwiches like the Italian beef or beef Manhattan. Open 11 to 9 Tuesday through Friday and 4 to 9 Saturday and Sunday for dining, carryout, or delivery. Call 618-842-7631 or order online at demangios.pizza. Are you a small business owner? 
Say goodbye to bookkeeping headaches. At FNB Financial Tax and Consulting, our top-notch accounting services will keep your finances in order, allowing you to focus on what you do best, growing your business. With FNB Financial, you're not just a client, you're family. Contact us at 618-842-2183 or visit us online at fnbcommunitybank.com. Experience peace of mind with our expert support. Give Carta Trucking and Fairfield a call at 618-842-2022 for all your rock, dirt, gravel, and sand needs. Carta Trucking also has bulk mulch, decorative landscaping rock, and asphalt patch. They'll deliver it for you and also haul your equipment to the job site. They can do excavating for construction work, ponds, future driveways, and building pads. Give Carter Trucking a call at 618-842-2022 and see what they can do for you. Welcome back to Veterans Field in Fairfield. It's the Mules and the Nashville Hornets this afternoon. I'm Mark Turner, Alec Vaughn alongside as we bring you Mules Baseball on Mule Nation powered by RJ Marketing. Happy birthday to Mule sophomore Carlos Hernandez celebrating his birthday today. Happy birthday, Carlos. Sophomore, so he's probably 16 getting his license maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. Yeah. You never know. This one should uh, stacks up to be a pretty good one. Uh, Nashville, you know, they come in 17-1 and one on the year. But I'm not sure they've faced a team that hits the ball as well as the Mules. The Mules have hit the ball well. They played good defense. They played a lot of good teams, too. You better believe it. They have had a stacked schedule. Only Richland County comes to mind. Newton, well, Mount Carmel, Lawrenceville. Newton, Mount Carmel. Um Lawrenceville. Waltonville, Lawrenceville. And there's still plenty more to come, like Carmi yeah. and Harrisburg. Yeah. Uh, still got to play uh, two against Carmi. Going to take on one against Harrisburg, um, North City, Omaha, Enfield. Salem, Centralia. Yeah. Mules do not play an easy baseball schedule. It's going to be some pretty good baseball coming up. and We'll uh, have a few of them for you. Not going to say we're going to have them all, but uh, we will have uh, a we majority of them for you on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. As we mentioned, Nashville's going to lead things off. Isaac Blazer, the leadoff hitter. JT Malawi hits second. Blaine Emmerich is the number three hitter. Harrison Shonina bats fourth. Sam Coleman is the DH. He'll bat fifth. Will Dietrich is at third, batting sixth. Brady Stein behind the plate will bat seventh. Lucas Dunn is the number eight hitter. And Parker Renfro will be the number nine hitter. Uh, seven and eight mules will take on the 17 and one Nashville Hornets this afternoon. We'll set the lineup for you for the mules on the mound is going to be Ian Puckett. Carson White is going to be behind the plate. Caden King is at third base. The shortstop going to be Jesse King, the second baseman. Landon Harrelson and Lane, or Logan Tullis out at first base in the outfield. It's going to be Crescent White in left. Jake Easton in center and Dylan Fleener is Going to be in right field this afternoon. 
Mules Baseball is brought to you by Black's Flowers and Gifts, Canaan Bridge Church, Carnaby Square, Carter Trucking, Carter Turf and Tractor, Christina Copeland Country Financial, The Conard Financial Group, CSI Insurance Brokers, DiMaggio's Pizza and Pasta, Eagle Supply, The Fairfield Banking Company, FNB Community Bank, Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler, Napa Auto Parts of Fairfield, People's National Bank, RJ on Main, RJ on the Air, Rush Appliance and Furniture, Southern Illinois Whitetail Connection, Vaughn's Tire, Wabash General Hospital, Walters Buildings, Wayne County Farm Bureau, the Wayne County Health Department, and Wayne White Electric Cooperative. Ian Puckett completing his warm-up tosses this afternoon, and we'll be set for action here at Veterans Field. Late addition to this schedule for the Mules. They didn't add this one till yesterday. Mules, of course, coming off that 9-0 victory over Hamilton County yesterday. Nashville coming off a win as well, 10-9 over Benton on Tuesday afternoon. Ian Puckett wrapping up his warm-up tosses. He will face... As we told you earlier, Isaac Blazier, J.T. Malawi, and Blaine Emrick. There's the coming down call from Carson White, and we're just about set for action here at Veterans Field. There's the throw down to second. Mules will throw it around, and we'll get set for action here. Again, live chat is open this afternoon. Tell us where you're watching from. Yep. Isaac Blazier. The shortstop, the second baseman, rather, for these Hornets will bat here to lead things off against Ian Puckett. Play ball. Puckett set. First pitch of the ball game on the way. And a called strike one on Blazier. Oh, and won the count now on Isaac Blazier. Pitch on the way. That's a nice pitch. That curve dropped right in there, and it's quickly nothing in two on Blazier. O2 delivery coming up. Just a bit outside for ball one. One to the count. Saw Frontier Community College Matt McHugh in the crowd. Yep, he's sitting right next to our scoreboard camera. And a strikeout to start the ball game for Puckett. And there's one out in the inning for J.T. Malawi, the shortstop for the Hornets. That's one. <laughs> Wait, start the game. Matt's wife. About to give birth to their third child. Congratulations. Puckett set. Pitch on the way. A little bit high for ball one to Malawi. One ball, no strikes. Pitch on the way. Just a bit inside for ball two. The count quickly, two balls, no strikes on Malawi. Inside pitch, that's ball three. And the count now 3-0. and oh. Pitch from Puckett on the way. That's on the inside corner for strike one. Good patience here for Nashville. Yeah, you bet. 3-1 delivery on the way. Malawi swings, fouls that one off. And the count runs full at 3-2 and two now. 3-2 the count now. On out. Payoff pitch from Puckett on the way. Grounded over toward short, and it rolls right in between the third baseman and shortstop. Yeah, I think that was Jesse King that yeah. caught that. Yeah, nice play by King, and there's two outs in the inning now. King, a late 
He was scheduled to play second, and Landon Harrelson short just before the game. They switched their positions. Shake things up a bit. You betcha. Blaine Emmerich, the right fielder to bat now for Nashville, and he looks at ball one. Emmerich set, pitch on the way. Fouls that one off, and the count evens at one and one. One ball, one strike. The count on Blaine Emmerich here. Bucket with the pitch. That one swung on, fouled off down the third baseline. One, two, the count now. Two outs. Top of the first inning. Bucket has looked good here in the first. Oh, yeah, he he has, especially that first strikeout. <laughs> yeah, got the first strikeout of the ball game on Blazier, and then the second man... Malawi just hit a soft liner over to short. Now the count one and two on Emmerich. Pitch all the way, Emmerich fouls that one off over by the Mules dugout. And the count remains one ball, two strikes. In Nashville, they come from uh, the river to river, Mississippi. That is a good baseball conference over there. Mm -hmm. Ducoin, Pinckneyville, Anna Jonesboro, Carterville. <laughs> Bucket set, the one-two delivery on the way. That one going to be popped up to the right side. Is it going to get out of play? It will. Oh. And the count remains one ball, two strikes. Yeah, Logan Tullis there tried to catch it. <laughs> no luck, though. Tullis went right to the fence and just could not get it. So the count remains one and two on Blaine Emmerich here. Ian Puckett looking to put together a 1-2-3 inning here to start off the ball game. Puckett set. Pitch is on the way. And that is yanked foul down the left field line. Boy, Emmerich's put them everywhere. Mm -hmm. Down the third baseline, He's down the get... left field line. Out of play along the right field side. That Nashville team's going to hit hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Puckett set, the one-two delivery on the way. Swing and a strike. Puckett strikes out two in the top of the first, and we head to the bottom of the first with no score. This is Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. With almost 50 years combined experience in the financial services industry, the Cotard Financial Group can help you build a diversified portfolio to keep you on track with your financial goals, whatever they may be. Give the Cotard Financial Group a call at 618-842-7855 to schedule an appointment to discuss financial planning options, ranging from 401ks and IRAs to college savings plans to stocks, bonds, and certificates of deposit. The Cotard Financial Group, investing in your future since 2003. Your local Napa Auto Parts store at 123 West Delaware in Fairfield is the place to go when you need parts for your car, heavy-duty truck, boat, RV, or tractor. Their knowledgeable staff can help you find the right part to keep you on the road and the right accessory to make your vehicle shine. Plus, they also stock tools, equipment, and many other items to help you get the job done right. Call 618-842-9106 or stop by your local Napa Auto Parts store in Fairfield today to rev up your ride. Vaughn's Tire is so much more than just a tire shop. With a new state-of-the-art facility at 1704 West Main Street in Fairfield, Vaughn's Tire can diagnose and fix just about anything that puts your ride on the sideline. From no appointment necessary oil changes to alignments, exhaust, general automotive repairs, and of course tires, Vaughn's Tire is the place to go when your vehicle needs to get back on the road. Open 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to noon on Saturday. Give them a call at 618-842-2422 and schedule your appointment at Vaughn's Tire in Fairfield. Landon Harrelson to lead things off for the Mules against Evan Everhart. Caden King, Caleb King rather, will bat second. Logan Tullis in the number three hole Crescent White bats cleanup. Dylan Fleener bats fifth. Carson White will bat sixth. The number seven hitter is going to be Ian Puckett. Jake East and Riley Marshall round out the lineup for the Mules. As we mentioned, Evan Eberhardt on the mound. Brady Stein, the catcher, over at third base this afternoon. 
is going to be Will Dietrich, the shortstop. J.T. Malawi, Isaac Blazier, the second baseman. The first baseman is Harrison Shunina in the outfield. Lucas Dunn in left field. The center fielder is Parker Renkin. And the right fielder is going to be Blaine Emmerich. Harrelson steps in now to face Eberhard here. Pitch on the way, and Harrelson looks at ball one low. That was way low. <laughs> one and oh, the count. The Cantor Stein sets up outside. Pitch on the way. That's on the outside corner for strike one, and the countdown one ball, one strike on Landon Harrelson. Ian Puckett struck out two in the top of the first and set the Hornets down in order. Eberhardt set to go, and Harrelson will foul that one off to the right side. And the count now, one ball, two strikes. Let us know where you're watching from. You bet you live chat is open. One-two delivery from Eberhardt on the way. Swing and Harrelson it. swings through, and that's a strikeout and one out here in the bottom of the first for the Mules. Caleb King will bat now. King has played a lot of second base this year. He's over at third this afternoon. And King looks at strike one right at the knees. Are him and Jesse brothers? They are. I see. Nothing and one. The count on Caleb King. Pitch is on the way. That's low for ball one. Ball got away from the catcher. Brady Stein retrieves that pretty easily right out in front of him. Gets it back to the pitcher. Evan Eberhardt. It's going to be a tongue twister all afternoon. Mm -hmm. Some of these names. 1-1 <laughs> delivery on the way from Eberhardt. King swings. Over towards short. Throw to first. And a 6-3 put out for out number two of the inning. And Logan Tullis will come to bat. Tullis is over at first base this afternoon for the Mules. Two outs now, bottom of the first inning. Still scoreless. Eberhardt ready to go. Pitch on the way. Douglas looks at a ball in the dirt. Crescent White in the on deck circle for the Mules. One well, no delivery coming up from Eberhardt. That's inside for ball two. Tell us had to jump out of the way of that inside pitch. Two balls, no strikes now on Loga Tellus, the number three hitter for the Mules, facing Evan Eberhardt. From the windup, pitch on the way. Tell us swings through. And now a 2 1 count on him. A little bit low, and the count runs to three and one now. Logan can walk here. That's on the inside corner for strike two. Full count now on Tullis. We'll see what Tullis can do here. Three two delivery from Eberhardt on the way. That's low for ball one, ball four. And Crescent White will step to the plate. Dylan Fleener moves into the on deck circle. Rudder at first is Logan Tullis after the walk. Now let's see, see if what the Mules can do a two out magic going on here. They can do it. <laughs> That's low for ball one. You 
You got two outs now, and you're just trying to walk here, it seems. <laughs> One and oh, the count on Tellus. Tell and uh, White looks at ball two. Tellus, the runner at first after the walk. And now Evan Eberhardt has put himself in a 2 0 hole. Eberhardt from the stretch comes set. Pitch is on the way. And that is strike one. Took a little something off that one, and Crescent White swung just swung right through it. Two balls, one strike now on Crescent White. Rudder on first, two outs, bottom of the first inning. White kind of golfs at it. And it's caught. Out to center field, and it's caught easily, and that will do it. Runner left on. Nobody scores, though. We head to the second. We're tied 0-0. This is Mules Baseball on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Rush Appliance and Furniture in Fairfield has everything you need to make your house a home. Appliance brands like Amana, Frigidaire, Whirlpool, and KitchenAid. Furniture from Lazy Boy, Vaughn Bassett, Holland House, and TEI. And mattresses from Sealy. Rush Appliance and Furniture also has LG Electronics and Big Green Egg Grills. Delivery and normal installation are available, plus outstanding service after the sale. Rush Appliance and Furniture, 118 West Main in Fairfield, serving the community since 1949. Open 8 to 5 Monday through Friday and 8 to 3 on Saturday. When you're looking to build, deciding what company to build with is just as important as deciding what to build. Whether it's a pole shed in your backyard, a steel building for your business, or a timber frame home, Walters Buildings wants to be a partner for your building project. Walters Buildings only uses the highest quality materials and the most skilled craftsmen in the industry to construct your building. Contact your area Walters Building representative at waltersbuildings.com. Build with confidence. Build with Walters. Family owned since 1958. Top of the second inning here. It's going to be 4, 5, and 6 for Nashville to face Ian Puckett, Harrison, Shonina, Sam Kolbaum, and Will Dietrich. Anybody gets on, the catcher Brady Stein will bat for the Hornets here in the top of the second inning. Ian Puckett, a pretty good first inning. Shut him down, 1, 2, 3. A couple of strikeouts for the sophomore, Ian Puckett. Mark, you know it's a mule sporting event when you hear Black Betty playing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pitch on the way from Puckett. Swing, and that is strike one to Shonina. He wanted to hit that ball for sure. <laughs> Nothing and one to Shonina. Pitch on the way on the outside corner. That's just a little bit outside for ball one. I kind of like these jerseys that Nashville has. They kind of have like the American flag and on oh, the bottom yeah. of their title. <laughs> Pitch on the way, Shonina fouls that one off down the left field line. And the count now, one ball, two strikes on the Hornets cleanup man. Harrison Shonina. Trying to drill that into my head to pronounce his name correctly. It's that H uh, right after the Z. <laughs> Shonina. <laughs> one, two. Yeah, a little bit low for ball two. Two balls, two count, strikes. Yeah, count evens up at two and two. Bobcats action for you tomorrow afternoon. On Bobcat Nation, Bobcat softball versus Lakeland College. That'll be a tough one. Shonina drills that out toward left. And it is down for a base hit. First hit of the ball game, and Sam Kolbaum will check in the designated hitter. We mentioned Bobcats baseball. They'll be taking on Lakeland College out of Mattoon tomorrow afternoon. Doubleheader starting at 2 o'clock. And then Saturday, me and Kennedy will be covering uh, Bobcats taking on Johnny Logan. Yeah, that's baseball action. Girls action also on yeah. Saturday afternoon. Pitch on the way and... Right in your living rooms. <laughs> Cole Bomb sends it straight back for strike one. Logan Tellus runs over to Ian Puckett, tells him something. And 
And that's a nice pitch right at the knees for strike two. And a nothing and two count now on Colbaum. The runner at first is Shoyinya after the single out to left field. Throw over to first, Shoyinya back easily. Yeah, when you're in that situation, you want to keep an eye on that first baseman. Check swing. Home plate umpire says that Cole Baum did not go around. Count now one and two. One ball, two strikes. On the number five hitter for Nashville, Sam Colbaum. Over to first, and the runner back easily. Parker's Puckett's keeping a close eye on Joninia. Count remains one and two. Puckett, pitch on the way. That's going to be popped up. A little can of corn out in the outfield. Jake Easton going to handle that out in left center field. And that'll be one out here in the inning. Will Diedrich will step in. Diedrich, the third baseman this afternoon for Nashville. In the on-deck circle is going to be the catcher, Brady Stein. One out, top of the second inning. That's Runner track. on first is Shonina. After the base hit to left to start off the inning. And please let us know where you're watching from or if uh, there's anything I could do <laughs> with the camera wise. Over to first. And boy, they just about got Shonina over there. That was close. Very close. He is keeping an eye on him. Trying to keep him close. Pitch on the way. Shonina takes up. That's going to be popped up on the infield. And Jesse King handles that out at short for two outs here in the inning. So after the leadoff hit by Shonina, Ian Puckett has set down the next two batters in order. And the catcher, Brady Stein, will step in for Nashville here. We have Barbara Maxim saying, go Mules, get a win. You got this. How big of a win would it be if the Mules knock off Nashville? Strike one to Stein, and the count nothing in one on the Hornets catcher. And let's remind you, folks, this is a Nashville team that only lost one game this year. Pitch on the way. That's clubbed out to left center field. That is going to get down, and a two-out piece of hitting by Brady Stein. And Nashville holds up Shonina at third. Make that a double for him. And a double for Brady Stein. Lucas Dunn will bat now. Looks like we're going to have a pinch runner for number three. Number three. Thank you. That is going to be Brantz Lucenheide. Lucenheide. And if we mispronounce these names, we apologize. Two outs here, two on. Top of the second inning. Puckett starts off. Done with a strike on the outside corner. And if you're Nashville, you can make at least one run here. I'm going to try to. Puckett being a good job of getting in this one. Nice stop by Carson White. That was a bit outside, and White sliding over to his right was able to keep that from going to the backstop. 1-1 one, one the count, two outs. Two on for Nashville. Pitch on the way for Puckett. That is going to be popped up. It's catchable. <laughs> on the infield. It, mm, didn't get it. Yeah, that was Jake Easton that tried to catch it, but it slipped. A <laughs> couple of runners come in for Nashville. They take a quick 2-0 lead. And done. Over at first on the blue pit, and Parker Rinkin will bat. I think Easton had an awful long way to run for that one. Pitch on the way. Inside and high for ball one.
Don't want to lose Rankin here. One ball, no strikes. Pitch on the way, Rankin. Fouls that one off out of play down the left field line. That probably went to the houses over there. <laughs> it was yanked pretty far yeah. over there. <laughs> Bucket from the stretch comes set here. Pitch on the way, and that is a strike, and that's two strikes now on Rinkin. Don't want to lose him. Because mm -mm. then you go back to the top of the order. You want to get that final out and get out of this inning and make some runs. Pitch on the way, Rinkin reaching for that one. And it is popped up. And that's going to be a double on Rankin. And Rankin cruises in there. Rankin just put that where nobody was, right in no man's land. Mm-hmm. So Dunn moves over to third. Rankin in at second on the double. And the leadoff man, Isaac Blazier, steps in 0 for 1 on the afternoon. Two outs here. That's where... Ian Puckett has run into trouble here with a couple of bloop hits and error. And it's allowed two runs to score for Nashville here in the top of the second. Pitch on the way, a little bit high for ball one. Pitch on the way. Pops it up. And out of play. Make sure you subscribe to RJ on the Air. It's our YouTube channel where we bring you our bi-weekly podcast. It's a beautiful day in Fairfield. We talk some sports. We talk a little news. We do some trivia. We meet interesting people from the throughout the community. And this Friday at 830, it's going to be Sam Sandy and Ethan Davis from the Frontier Community College baseball team. Blazier. Knocks that one out of play. Here, Coach Flinger is saying, outfield go hard all the way. <laughs> one to the count, pitch on the way. And Blazier looks at a ball high. Count evens up at two and two. Two balls, two strikes on the Hornets leadoff, man. We're in the top of the third inning. It's a 2-0 lead for Nashville. Puckett pitch on the way. That's going to be out toward center field. And a couple of more runs score on that little blue pit. Puckett has not allowed anybody to hit the ball really hard. Yeah. So that makes it two more runs, a 4 nothing lead for Nashville. They are just happen to be dropping where they, nobody's at. Right. They drop it where nobody can catch it. <laughs> so four here across the plate in the top of the second inning. And that will bring in Ty Malawi, or JT Malawi, rather. Runner takes off for second. Throw down to second. Safe. And Blazier in easily with a stolen base. So two balls, no strikes, two outs. Runner on second. Rachel Reed again saying, go Mules on the live chat. Thank you for watching. Outside for a ball. Throw back to second and Malawi back easily. Unless you catch somebody leaning toward third, that pickoff attempt down to second base really is just mainly to hold the runner close. And that's a strike there. 3-1 the count.
Malawi out at short this afternoon. Pitch in the way. Strike. Nice pitch on the outside corner. A little bit on the high side, but it's called a strike and now a full count. Puckett's keeping on working. Wouldn't be surprised to see the runner out there. Even though there's nobody at first, he'll take off. That one's yanked out toward left field. And is going to be caught out there. One runner left on. Four across the plate, though, for Nashville. We head to the bottom of the second. It's a 4-0 ball game. This is Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. It's Ram Truck Month Jeep at Lamont. Celebration Lamont. event Ram has recently repriced new 2024 new heavy duty deal. Ram trucks. Recent combined these factory price reductions, price reductions with current incentives plus Lamont's discount equals 9,500 in total savings on new HD new Ram. 2023 Jeep Gladiator EcoVs and Ram 2800 trucks MPG. are on the way. 23% Lamont's off the MSRP with savings of 13,480. Ram Truck Month ends April 30th. These offers end April 30th. Lamont's Chrysler 412 Beach Main Fairfield and Lamont'sOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Did you know that adult vaccinations are available daily at the Wayne County Health Department? That's right, you can get vaccinated for hepatitis A and B, pneumonia, shingles, the seasonal flu, travel vaccines, COVID-19, and more. Vaccinations can be done by appointment anytime between 8 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Walk-ins are also welcome, and most area insurances are accepted. The Wayne County Health Department, 405 North Basin Road in Fairfield, where your health is their priority. For the Mules here in the bottom of the second inning, it's going to be Dylan Fleener, Carson White, Ian Puckett. Anybody gets on, Jake Easton will come to the plate. You know, outside of the first base hit by Shonina out to left field, really nothing hit extremely hard by Nashville. No, uh, they just got in the right spots. <laughs> so Fleener comes to the plate. On right field this afternoon, pitch on the way, Fleener. Looks at a ball. <laughs> One ball, no strikes on Fleener here. Pitch on the way from Eberhardt. Fleener swinging on that one, fouls it straight back for strike one. One one delivery on the way from Eberhart. That's inside for ball two. Wind whipping out of the southwest this afternoon. Fleener swings on that one. The count evens at two and two. And that was a live ball. <laughs> kind of swing and bunt. And let's see. Weiner drops back. Ball rolled just foul. And the count remains two and two. Those, that was one of those things that just happened, you know? <laughs> yeah. 2-2 two -two delivery on the way from Eberhardt. Straight up the gut. And the second baseman handles it easily for a 4-3 put out. One out here in the bottom of the second inning, and Carson White, the catcher, will step to the plate. That was a nice hit. Just couldn't get there. Saw Carson last night at La Fuente. Had a good visit with him before the game this afternoon. Taco night? It was taco night, as a matter of fact. And, of course, Claire uh, was nice enough to feed the entire... entire Bobcats Athletic Department for reaching 1,000 1, subscribers on Bobcat Nation. That's a time to celebrate. <laughs> you better believe it. So Carson White into bat against Eberhardt here. Pitch on the way. White looks at a ball. The count now two balls, no strikes. On the Mules catcher. One out. It's the bottom of the second inning. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Two balls, one strike now on Carson White. Please, folks, we're uh, 
We're getting some uh, comments on the live chat. Uh, not very nice, please. Be nice. Let's be positive, please. Outside. On the outside corner for strike two. Carson White now looking at a two and two count. One out here, bottom of the second inning. Wheels are down by four. White fouls that one off at the plate. Count remains two and two on the Mules backstop. Carson White, the sophomore. White, opposite field. Handled by the first baseman, unassisted for the second out of the inning, and Ian Puckett will bat. Just a little more thrust, and he would have made it. <laughs> yeah, it took him a minute to pick up that ball there. But it was hit hard, and it was right at the first baseman. Mm -hmm. Two outs here, bottom of the second inning. Nobody on for the Mules. Pitch on the way, and that is strike one on Ian Puckett. Puckett swings through, fouls it off for strike two. Count quickly, nothing in two on Puckett, who's on the mound this afternoon for the Mules. In the dirt for ball one. And one ball, two strikes now on Ian Puckett. Eberhardt from the windup, and he clips Puckett on the shoulder. Yeah, the back left shoulder. And, and up comes Jake Easton. Jake Easton will come to the plate. Easton out in center field this afternoon. That's here with two outs and one on. Puckett going to get a pinch runner. We'll get a number for you. Uh, I think that's Grieve. 18. Austin Grieve. Yep. You are allowed to do that in high school baseball. Pinch runner for the catcher or the pitcher. And it is effective. <laughs> and Easton looks at strike one low. Reeve back easily after the throw over to first. And Easton looks at a ball low. One and one, the count on Jake Easton here. Easton. Fouls that one off out of play down the right field line. Near the picnic table. Now one ball, two strikes on the Mule center fielder, Jake Easton. The number eight hitter in the Mules lineup, Riley Marshall in the on-deck circle this afternoon. He is the designated hitter. Pitch on the way from Eberhardt. Easton sends that out to center field. And it is caught out there. Runner left on. Nobody crosses the plate. We roll into the third with the Mules trailing Nashville 4 0. You're watching Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Let the experienced brokers at CSI Insurance Brokers in Fairfield help you find quality, affordable insurance tailored to fit your needs and your budget. Whether it's farm, auto, home, or life insurance, CSI Insurance Brokers at 108 West Main in Fairfield helps you protect what matters most while enjoying extra savings. Give them a call at 618-842-2193, shoot them a message on Facebook, or check out their website at csiinsurancebrokers.com. 
Pastor Dwayne Kistner and the congregation at Canaan Bridge Church west of Fairfield want to wish the Mules good luck this spring and to invite you to join them for morning worship every Sunday. Canaan Bridge Sunday School for adults and teens at 9 a.m. and worship services starting at 10 a.m. each Sunday. Plus, the youth group meets every Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. and there are Sunday evening services featuring a guest speaker at 6 p.m. on the first Sunday of each month. Canaan Bridge Church on Highway 15 west of Fairfield connecting people to the promise. Top of the third inning here. Nashville with a 4-0 lead over the Mules. Number three hitter Blaine Emmerich will lead things off. Harrison Shonina bat second. The number three hitter is Sam Colbaum. Anybody gets on, Will Dietrich for the Hornets here in the top of the third. Ian Puckett still out there for the Mules. Like I said, he did not allow anybody to hit the ball really, really hard. There in the second inning, just some hit them where they ain't type of action for Nashville in that second inning. Lands in the right spot. <laughs> yeah. Action tomorrow for you on Bobcat Nation. The Bobcat softball team hosting Lakeland College. 31-11 and 11 on the year. They are pretty darn good. And we'll see them tomorrow afternoon on Bobcat Nation. Starting about 2 o'clock with doubleheader play for you. Strike one, Emmerich swung through that first pitch from Puckett. Swing and a miss. And it's very quickly, nothing in two on Emmerich. Emmerich is 0 for 1 on the afternoon. He was a strikeout victim back in the first to end the inning. Emmerich yanks that one down the left field line. It's deep. But it's going to blow foul. And I say blow foul because that wind is whipping out of the southwest. It's a beautiful day, but the wind's a factor. You better believe it. It is a beautiful afternoon for baseball. We thank you for joining us on Mule Nation. Count remains 0-2. Puck, it goes right after him, and that's fouled off at the plate. He got hit there in yeah. the left Emmerich, uh, leg. <laughs> didn't even move. He just let it slide right into him. And that will bring up Sonina. One for one. Single back in the second. Came around to score. Bats here with nobody on and one out in the top of the third. Pitch on the way. That's low for ball one. He is the young man I got pronunciations from. <laughs> and he told me, he goes, I don't really care what you call me. And I said, no, I want to get it right, man. He goes, I've, it's been pronounced Zagonia, Gonina. You know, I said, well, I want to get it as close as I can. We strive for perfection, don't we? <laughs> Bet you. One and two the count now on Shonina. That one hit the outside corner. One to the count, top of the third inning, 4-0 Nashville lead. Throw over to first, and the runner back in easily. <laughs> Shonina is going to foul that one off down the right field line and out of play. Now remains one ball, two strikes on Harrison Shonina. Pitch from Puckett all the way. Gets away from Carson White, and that allows the runner to Emmerich to move up to second base. Countdown two and two on Shonina.
Puck had come set from the stretch. Outside, ball three. Full count now on the Hornets lead off our cleanup man. Pitch coming up, and that's inside for ball four. Runners at first and second now, and Sam Kolbaum will step in. Kolbaum, 0 for 1 in the afternoon. Somebody rolling up a grill or a cooler or what out there? Something like that. Outside, ball one to Kolbaum. Runners on second and first. No outs yet. Top of the third inning. Bucket. Kolbaum's going to pop that one up. Short center field. Caught. Going to be handled out there by Jake Easton for the first out of the inning. Kolbaum. 0 oh and 2 now, and Will Diedrich will step in. Diedrich is 0 oh for 1 on the afternoon. And that's a ball outside. You know, we were talking about teams the Mules have faced and their strengths of schedule. We didn't even mention Totopolis. Yeah. They're in that always conversation. good. Yeah. We should we should have mentioned them. I was thinking about that. Should have mentioned them. One and oh the count now. Then there's Altamont. <laughs> yeah, they played Altamont as well. You're right. Yeah, they lost a lot of kids off that really, really good team from last year, but they're still pretty salty. Mm-hmm. They have baseball in the fall. Pitch on the way. Ian Puckett in danger of loading up the bases with a walk here. Come on, Ian, throw something. Drop a strike in there for us. Throw back to second base. Keeps the runner close. Three won the count now. A pie for a ball. And that is a ball Base and is loaded. a walk. Hornets can do some damage here. All three runs, should they score, will be unearned. Brady Stein was going to bat. Stein a single and scored back in the second. Bats here with one out. Bases loaded for the Hornets. And Stein looks at a ball low. Swing by Stein was a strike. Carson White tried to throw down to third. Ball got away from King down there at third and allows the runner to come around to score from third and the other runners to move up to second and third. So it's a 5 nothing lead. One out. One, one and count. one the count now on Stein. And that's up high for a ball and the count now two and two. Or two and one rather. Good eye by Stein. Going to be popped up. Caught. And caught. Sacrifice fly by Stein. Allows the runner from third to score. And Lucas 
Dunn will check in. Dunn reached on an error and came around to score in the second. A couple of runs already across the plate at 6 0. Two outs here. Top of the third. Runner at second. Dunn down toward third. King backhand over to first. A nice throw by Caleb King over there at third, and that will do it. Two more runs across the plate. The bottom of the third coming up the Mules Trail 6 0. This is Mule Nation powered by RJ Marketing. It's no secret that rates are on the rise. If you're ready to purchase a home or looking to refinance and lock in your rate, now is the time. Hi, this is Michelle Garner, branch manager of the Fairfield Banking Company. We offer a wide variety of products to fit your needs, from little money down to getting a fixed rate. We're here to help you every step of the way so that you can get onto those big decisions, like where to put your sofa. Stop by and discuss your needs with one of our mortgage lenders today. The Fairfield Banking Company, where the hometown banks, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. It's Ram Truck Month Jeep at celebration Lamont. event Ram has recently repriced new 2024 Jeep Heavy Duty Ram, Ram Trucks. Recent factory these price factory reductions, price reductions with current incentives plus the Lamont's discount, discount equals $9,500 in total value savings. New, new 2023 Jeep Gladiator 25, 2800 Ram 2800 Highway trucks MPG. are on the way. 23% Lamont's off MSRP with savings of $13,480. Ram Truck Month ends April 30th. These offers end April 30th at Lamont's Chrysler 412 Beach Main Fairfield and LamontsOnline.com. You'll like, You'll the, like way the way, we, way do we do business. Mules Baseball is brought to you by Black's Flowers and Gifts, Canaan Bridge Church, Carnaby Square, Carter Trucking, Carter Turf and Tractor, Christina Copeland Country Financial, The Conard Financial Group, CSI Insurance Brokers, DiMaggio's Pizza and Pasta, Eagle Supply, The Fairfield Banking Company, FNB Community Bank, Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler, Napa Auto Parts of Fairfield, People's National Bank, RJ on Main, RJ on the Air, Rush Appliance and Furniture, Southern Illinois Whitetail Connection, Vaughn's Tire, Wabash General Hospital, Walters Buildings, Wayne County Farm Bureau, the Wayne County Health Department, and Wayne White Electric Cooperative. Number nine hitter Riley Marshall going to lead things off here in the bottom of the third for the Mules. Landon Harrelson in the on-deck circle. Caden King in the hole. If anybody gets on, Logan Tellus will bat for the Mules. Mules gave up four in the second, two in the third. They trail here 6-0. Pitch on the way. Little chopper down the third baseline. And that is going to be an infield hit for Riley Marshall. Yeah, he hustled. I like the way this inning is starting. Same here. Yeah, it's a 6 0 uh, National League. Mule's got to do something. Anything to get that zero off the board. Landon Harrelson, 0 for 1, will bat here. Struck out back in the first inning against Eberhart. He bats here with nobody out, one on. Riley Marshall, the infield single. First hit of the ball game for the Mules. Ball gets away from the catcher, and that's going to allow Marshall to move up to second. Just like that, the Mules have a runner in scoring position with nobody out. That's what you want right now. <laughs> that's for sure. Let's see what Harrelson's got. 1-0 the count on Harrelson. Everhart from the stretch. And Harrelson looks at a ball low. And he's keeping a good eye on Marshall back there. Two and zero count on the Mules' leadoff man, Landon Harrelson. Pitch on the way. That's inside for ball three. He almost got hit by the ball, but. Harrelson had to do a little dance there mm -hmm. in the batter's box to keep from being hit on that one. Three and oh, the count, three balls, no strikes on Landon Harrelson. Rudder at second is Riley Marshall. Outside, and that is a four pitch walk. So now runners on second and first. Caleb King steps in, he's 0 for 1 on the afternoon. Runners at first and second here in the top of the third inning. Nobody out. 
Eels looking to get on the board. Everhart set from the stretch. Pitch is on the way. King looking to bunt. Bunts that one down the first baseline. The pitcher Everhart picks it up, throws him out at first. And on the sacrifice, though, the Mules get runners at second and third with one out for Logan Tullis. Tullis walked and was stranded in the first. Let's go, Logan. Let's get on the board here. Pitch all the way from Eberhardt. And that's way inside. Tell us, had to back out of, out of the way of that one. And the count, one ball, no strikes. Tell us, looks at ball too low. Six straight balls thrown by Eberhardt here. And it's a 2-0 and o count on Tullis. Eberhardt comes set. Pitch on the way. Tullis swinging. It's going to allow a run to score. Marshall. <laughs> And up to bat now we have Creston White. The Mules get on the board. Marshall comes around to score. Priest on that infield base hit. We got runners in the corners. And tell us at first after the hit. Crescent White 0 for 1. Bats here. We have Kenneth Myers saying, let's go Mules watching from Moore, Oklahoma. Welcome, Kenneth. Pitch on the way. White swings and that's strike one. Wouldn't be surprised to see Tullis take off here. Eliminate the threat of the double play. The DDP, the dreaded double play. Oh, one the count on White. Fake to throw to third and then turn to throw to first. Didn't see anything. Yeah, didn't, didn't fake anyone out. Everybody back. Runners at the corners. One out here for the Mules. We're in the bottom of the third inning. Nobody, nobody. <laughs> one and one. The count on Crescent White here. Tullis now takes off. Safe. Throw down a second. Tullis in easily with a stolen base. And that will erase the threat of the double play. Good hustle there by Logan. One out here. Runners at second and third. One run already across from the Mules. So two balls, one strike here for Crescent. One out. Bottom of the third inning. 6-1. Nashville leads it. Pitch all the way from Eberhardt. White swings. Got him. Throw over to first, but the run does score in the form of Landon Harrelson. Sacrificial run, so now it's a 6-2 ball game. That allows Tullis to move up to third. And Dylan Fleener will bat. Fleener hit the ball hard. His first bat, he's 0 for 1, has nothing to show for it, but he did hit the ball hard. Away. That's a strike. And it's, uh, yeah, on the outside corner. Right at the letters. And the count. No balls, one strike on Dylan Fleener. Base hit, scores a run. Cuts the lead in half. 
That's inside for a ball. Good eye by Dylan Fleener to hold off on that one. Two on the count on Fleener. Two outs. Runner on third. Need a base hit. Just put something in the outfield green, Dylan. Two one delivery on the way. Fleener fouls that back. And the count evens at two. Two-two delivery on the way from Eberhardt. Fleener stays alive, fouls that one off at the plates. And the count remains even at two and two. Carson White for the Mules in the on-deck circle. Well, I want to see Carson bat. Pitch on the way inside. Ball gets away. The runner is going to score, and the Mules have cut the lead in half. Logan's played really smart this inning. <laughs> Dallas comes in from second. Mules have played at three. It's a 6-3 ball game here. Now let's uh, get that chain of moving once again. Three and two the count now on Dylan Fleener. Eberhardt pitching from the stretch once again. And Flanner looks at a called third strike. Mules get three, though, and we head to the fourth. It's a 6-3 ball game in favor of Nashville. This is Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Did you know that adult vaccinations are available daily at the Wayne County Health Department? That's right, you can get vaccinated for hepatitis A and B, pneumonia, shingles, the seasonal flu, travel vaccines, COVID-19, and more. Vaccinations can be done by appointment anytime between 8 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Walk-ins are also welcome, and most area insurances are accepted. The Wayne County Health Department, 405 North Basin Road in Fairfield, where your health is their priority. Let the experienced brokers at CSI Insurance Brokers in Fairfield help you find quality, affordable insurance tailored to fit your needs and your budget. Whether it's farm, auto, home, or life insurance, CSI Insurance Brokers at 108 West Main in Fairfield helps you protect what matters most while enjoying extra savings. Give them a call at 618-842-2193, shoot them a message on Facebook, or check out their website at csiinsurancebrokers.com. Mule score three in the bottom of the th third, or bottom of the second, rather, and make it a 6-3 ball game for Nashville to face Ian Puckett here. It is going to be Parker Renkin, Isaac Blazier, and JT Malawi. Mule's... I, what I was really impressed in that set, they manufactured runs. Mm -hmm. You know, they they sacrificed runners over to second and third. They reached on an error. They scored on an error. Scored on a base hit. Scored on a pass ball. All right, so Rankin steps in now. Rankin a double. Came around to score back in the second. And he looks at strike one. Right at the knees. One delivery on the way from Puckett. That one hit hard down to short. Jesse King settles himself over to first. Out. And they got him. Isaac Blazier steps in. One for two. Struck out. Singled his last at bat. Nice play by Jesse King. He bobbled it. Controlled himself. Composed himself. Picked up the ball. Made a nice strong throw to first. And... Riley Mark, or uh, foul. that uh, runs foul, and uh, Logan Tullis over there at first, a nice stretch. 
to make the play. 0-1 oh, the, the count now on Blazier. With one out here in the top of the fourth. On the inside corner, just a bit inside, and that's ball one. Count now one and one on Blazier. Blazier right up the middle, and a great play by Ian Puckett to snag that one. That was a tremendous catch. <laughs> and there's two outs here on the top of the fourth for JT Malawi. He's 0 for 2 on the afternoon. Yeah. What a play out there by Pocket. Wow. And if he hadn't caught that, that would have done some serious uh, shoulder damage, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, you better believe it. Pitch on the way, and Malawi looks at a ball high. Not going to say a word about Pocket going with a 1 2 3 inning here. Mm -mm. That's low for ball two, and it's two balls and no strikes on Malawi. I believe he is the coach's son. Inside corner for strike. And the count now one and two. Little soft popper. Caught. <laughs> Out to short. Jesse King handles it. It's a one, two, three inning for Ian Puckett. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Nashville still on top, 6 3. This is Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. The Southern Illinois Whitetail Connection proudly supports the FCHS Mules and wishes them great success this season. SIWC is a members-only hunting club based in Fairfield that offers its members access to thousands of acres offering the perfect habitat for Midwest game. SIWC members are allowed year-round access and are allowed to hunt during any legal Illinois hunt season. Go Mules from the Southern Illinois Whitetail Connection. Pastor Dwayne Kistner and the Congregation of Canaan Bridge Church west of Fairfield want to wish the Mules good luck this spring and to invite you to join them for morning worship every Sunday. Canaan Bridge Sunday School for adults and teens at 9 a.m. and worship services starting at 10 a.m. each Sunday. Plus, the youth group meets every Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. and there are Sunday evening services featuring a guest speaker at 6 p.m. on the first Sunday of each month. Canaan Bridge Church on Highway 15 west of Fairfield, connecting people to the promise. Carson White to lead things off here in the bottom of the fourth for the Mules. Ian Puckett will follow Jake Easton in the hole. And Riley Marshall, who started the three-run rally with a leadoff single back in the third, will bat if anybody gets on for the Mules. Appreciate you joining us this afternoon on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Mule 7-8 and eight on the year, looking to even their record up at 8-8 eight and eight with a W this afternoon. Nashville comes in, they are 17-1. They're only lost to DuCoin earlier this month. That was a 4 nothing loss. And White looks at strike one. No balls, one strike here. Pitch on the way. And White will foul that one off down the third baseline. Oh. Now very quickly, nothing in two on White. Winds start to pick up once again. Stint set up on the outside corner. That one bounced in the dirt. And the count, one and two. Jake Easton in the on-deck circle. Down toward third. Out. And that is handled for a put-out. 
And one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning for Jakey, or for uh, Ian Puckett. Puckett was hit by a pitch and reached. In the second. Does not have an official at bat. Everhart from the windup. That's outside for ball one. Puckett swing and fouls that off down the third baseline. One one delivery from Eberhardt on the way. Swing and a miss. Yeah, full Puckett on that one. And the count now one ball, two strikes. On the meals, number 11, Ian Puckett. Puckett swings. That one bounced off the plate. It's going to be called foul. Inside, Puckett just about got hit again. Two two count for Puckett, one out. Bottom of the fourth inning, it's a 6 3 Nashville leading it. Eberhardt throws Puckett a ball low. Full count now. Bucket. That's Fouls that one off. And the count remains three and two. Bucket. Over to short. Malawi picks it up over to first. And that's a 6-3 put out for the second out of the inning. Jake Easton will bat here 0 for 1 on the afternoon. Nashville's runs came in the second and third. Four in the second, two in the third. The Mules countered with three in the third. That's where we stand right now. Nashville with the 6-3 lead over the Mules. A strike. Right on the inside corner. 0 and 1 the count on Easton here. Easton over to third. It's a 1 2 3 inning for Eberhardt. We go to the fifth. It's a 6 3 Nashville lead. You're watching Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. It's no secret that rates are on the rise. If you're ready to purchase a home or looking to refinance and lock in your rate, now is the time. Hi, this is Michelle Garner, branch manager of the Fairfield Banking Company. We offer a wide variety of products to fit your needs, from little money down to getting a fixed rate. We're here to help you every step of the way so that you can get onto those big decisions, like where to put your sofa. Stop by and discuss your needs with one of our mortgage lenders today. The Fairfield Banking Company, we're the hometown banks, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. When a Fairfield fire truck needs a repair, Cam's there to keep things rolling. And as part of the volunteer fire department, Justin's looking out for Cam and all of Fairfield. Everyone supports each other, and Wayne White Electric Cooperative supports them all with safe, reliable power for every one of our members. REMCs exist, and together, it all works. You need insurance to help protect the things that mean a lot to you. You need coverage that's affordable because we all have a budget. I'm Christina Copeland, and at Country Financial, we get it. 
For close to 100 years, we've offered insurance and financial services to help protect what's most important to you and help you prepare for the future. Best of all, we aim to get to know you and find solutions for your budget. In other words, we've got your back. I'm Country Financial Rep, Christina Copeland. Call me at 618-842-2185 to chat about your insurance needs today. Mules make some changes here to start out the fifth inning. Crescent White will come in from left field. He'll be on the mound. Landon Harrelson moves from second to left field. And Ian Puckett goes from the mound to second base. And Crescent White will place three, four, and five. Emmerich, Sonina, and Kolbaum for Nashville. Anybody gets on, Diedrich. Strike one. Nice pitch. To Emmerich out in right field this afternoon for Nashville. Pitch all the way, Emmerich. He's going to foul that one off down the left field line. Appreciate you joining us this afternoon. Tell us where you're watching from. Mm hmm. Low chat's open. Just as long as it's positive. <laughs> Our next Mules baseball broadcast is scheduled for Tuesday. The Mules have a conference game at Fora. That will be on Mule Nation. And the Mules softball team will be at Fora on Tuesday as well. That will be on Bobcat Nation. Both those games start at 4.30. Uh, we've got action Monday as well for you. The... Mule softballers take on Gallatin County over at Southwest Park. That at 4.30 on Mule Nation for you. One to the count now. Top of the fifth inning. 6-3. Nashville leads it. Crescent White on in relief of Ian Puckett. Ian had a really good inning the last inning. Oh, he sure did. Really, Nashville hasn't hit the ball very, very hard. They just uh, get good spots. <laughs> That's a There's strikeout. a strikeout, and Crescent White comes in and gets the K to start off the fifth. And now we'll bring in Harrison Shonina. He is one for one. Singled and scored in the second. He walked and scored in the third. And he looks at strike one on the outside corner. Well, Crescent White has come in. He's been rocking and firing thus far. That one's low for a ball. One one the count. One out. Pitch on the way. Inside for ball two. Well, the way Crescent pitches, man, he just gets up there and slings it. Mm -hmm. That one fouled off at the plate. The count evens at two and two. And it's a little brother duo out there, too. Him and Carson. <laughs> you betcha. Crescent the senior, Carson the sophomore. That one in the dirt. And the count runs full on Shonina. Payoff pitch from White on the way. That one scorched out to center field. For a single. And a base hit for Shonina. Sam Kohlbaum steps in, 0 for 2 on the afternoon. Ball gets away from White. That allows the runner to move over to second. 
Hey, if you're not doing anything, Friday morning, 8.30, tune in to It's a Beautiful Day in Fairfield. It's on our YouTube channel, RJ on the Air. Our guest is going to be Frontier Community College baseball players Sam Sandy and Evan Davis, or Ethan Davis, I'm sorry. We'll talk a little baseball. We'll talk a little Frontier baseball. Got some baseball trivia lined out for him as well. Should be fun. We'll find out about the weekend weather. We'll uh, check local birthdays. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Three of the count. It's the top of the fifth inning. Crescent White on in relief of Ian Puckett. Pitch on the way. Cobon swings, fouls that one back. That's a strike. Nice pitch by Crescent White. Three to the count. Payoff pitch coming up from Crescent White. Swing Man, that is a strike. Two strikeouts here in the inning by White. And Diedrich will check in 0 for 1 on the afternoon. Out number two. Last at bat, walked and was stranded at second base. White working from the stretch, comes set. Pitch on the way. Oh, man, just barely missed, and that's ball one. Outside corner for a strike. That just barely caught the corner, and the count evens up at one and one. Popped up. It's catchable. On the infield. Just Mules handle it easily. A runner left on. Nobody scores, though, in Crescent, in Crescent White's first half inning of work. Bottom of the fifth coming up. You're watching Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Whether you're in the oil field, the farm field, or working on a backyard project right here in Fairfield, Eagle Supply can and will do what it takes to make it a success. Located at 1108 South 1st Street, Eagle Supply has the belts, hoses, or fittings you might need for the job you're doing. They also carry stainless and structural steel, hardware of any type, and parts for Fairbanks engines. Eagle Supply is open 730 to 430 Monday through Friday and Saturdays by appointment. Are you looking for that perfect gift for that special someone? I bet Christy and the girls at Carnaby Square in Fairfield can help. They carry famous maker boutique brand clothing and have one of the largest selections of Brighton jewelry and accessories around. It's not known as the little boutique with the big inventory for nothing. Make sure to check out Christy's live video on Facebook every Thursday for all the new arrivals. Open 9 to 5 Monday through Saturday with extended hours on Thursday. That's Carnaby Square, 115 East Main in Fairfield. And welcome back uh, here at Veterans Field. New pitcher on for hey, Melvin. the Three for Hornets here. For we'll get a number for you. 15. 15, all right, thank you. Check that for me, but I don't think we have a 15 on the roster. 
Is that right? Yeah, that's yeah, I'm not seeing fifteen. Yeah, I don't see fifteen on the roster. At any rate. He is a lefty for the Hornets. And he will face the number nine hitter, Riley Marshall, then back to the top of the order with Landon Harrelson for the Mules. Sure, that's 15 and not 25. If it's 25... Nope. Uh, it's, it says 15. Okay. Take your word for it. All right. Riley Marshall starts things off here for the Mules in the bottom of the fifth inning. They're trailing 6-3 to Nashville. That one by Marshall going to be popped up. It's, nope. It hit the fence. And Marshall. With a double. With a win, eight a double, man. That uh, carried and carried and carried. I thought it was going to go over for a second. <laughs> and Marshall, he's the guy that got things started in the third for the Mules. Where do you get things started? <laughs> you bet. Wow. No out, runner in scoring position in Riley Marshall here. Landon Harrelson steps in 0 for 1 on the afternoon. He did walk and score in the third. That's here, one on, nobody out. Fifteen, the lefty pitch on the way. That's low for ball one. Harrelson took a four-pitch walk his last at bat. And now looks at a one and no count. Harrelson over toward third. And Harrelson moves the runner over and reaches base in the process. So now we got runners on the corners. Uh, Marshall on third and Harrelson on first. Caleb King steps in over two. No outs yet. He's due. Mm hmm. Marshall at third, Harrelson at first. Pitch from the lefty on the way. King swings and fouls that one off. No one pitch on the way, ball in the dirt. One on the count. Does not get away from the catcher's stints. Or Stein, rather. And the count now one and one. King swings. That's strike two. Two delivery on the way. Harrelson takes off for second base. He'll have to go back to first after King fouls it off. And there's Logan Tullis again grabbing the foul ball. <laughs> Tullis in the on deck circle. That one. And that's going to send Harrelson to the second. Yeah, Harrelson goes down to second this time. No throw. And second and third. Nobody out. Bottom of the fifth. Mules are trailing 6-3. If they get two runs here, uh, they trail by one. Let's just shoot for three. Tie it up. <laughs> or four. King going to foul that or going to pop that one up. Is it going to be deep enough to get the runner home? He called. I see the official calling safe. Foul ball. All right. 
Let's try it again. <laughs> King will come back. You see Coach Fleener giving advice to Caleb there. King set two strikes on him here. And that is a called third strike. Let's see if Logan can get something going here. Logan Thomas, one for one on the afternoon. He singled in the third and drove in a run. Yeah, That's he's here with one on runners at second and third. Come on, Logan Thomas. Tell us. Grounds that one. Marshall scores. And Riley Marshall will score. Here comes Crescent White up to bat now. We got Landon Harrelson on third. And Tullis on first. So White steps in 0 for 2. Bats here working. with one out, runners at the corner. Swinging, slow roller. Out at second. Will be tall. Any rate, the runner will score. And the Mules are within one. Two, rather. Oh, uh, yeah, it's one, my bad. I was, yep, 5 6. <laughs> Yep, it's a 5-6 ball game. Nashville leads it. One more run for the Mules, and it's a tie game. White reaches first on the fielder's choice. And it was a 6-0 Nashville lead at some point. Back in the second inning, 6-0. Uh -huh. So White gets the pinch runner that's, this time. That's Grieve, 18. Austin, Austin Grieve. Grieve. Dylan Flaner to bat here. Runner at first, two out. Mules are within one at 6-5 here. Pitch on the way. That's a strike. Inside corner, strike one. Fire, go, Fleener waited on that curve and pops it up. I got it. Oh. Runner was going on the play, and Felina reaches on the air. And that will send Tullis, or rather White, all the way over to third. And Carson White to bat now for the Mules. Carson is 0 for 2. Mules within one of tying this thing up. But it's also two outs. Yeah, keep that in mind. <laughs> so this is very crucial right here. <laughs> White swinging first pitch, fouls it off. Nothing and one on White here. Mills just need one more run and tie it. Base hit does it. White fouls it off the plate. The count very quickly, 0-2 on the Mills catcher. Catcher sitting up outside. Pitch on the way. And a foul ball at the plate. Flaner was moving on the pitch. He'll have to come back. And we got Crescent on third. Runners at the corners. Two outs here. Eels are within one at six to five. They trailed six nothing at one time. Pitch all the way, and Crescent, or Carson Wide rather swings through. Couple left on. 
Two cross the plate, though. It's a 6-5 ball game. We're headed to the sixth inning. You're watching Meal Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. If you're not a member of the Wayne County Farm Bureau, you don't know what you're missing. Members are eligible for a $500 special offer on four trucks, up to 20% discount at popular hotels, up to 40% off on HP computers, up to 40% off on frigid air, over 30% off on AMC movie tickets, up to $30 off tickets to Holiday World, and a whole lot more. Discounts are subject to change. Become a member of the Wayne County Farm Bureau today. Go to waynecfb.com slash membership and learn how. The Wayne County Farm Bureau, a membership that means something. No time to run to the bank? No problem. People's National Bank makes banking easy and convenient with PMB to go mobile banking. PMB to go allows you to deposit checks, pay bills, transfer money between accounts, view your statements, turn your debit card off and on, and much more, all on your smartphone. It truly is banking at your fingertips with PMB to go mobile banking. People's National Bank, member FDIC. It's going to be 7, 8, 9, Stein, Dunn, and Rinkin for Nashville here in the top of the sixth. Isaac Blazier, if anybody gets on deck, he's the leadoff man. Is that Thriller? It is. <laughs> All right, now Carson's back on the field, warming up with his brother. All right, Carson White throws it down to second base. And the leadoff man is going to be Stein, the catcher. Brady Stein, one for two. Singled and scored in the second. See what Crescent White can do with him. How about another one, two, three inning, Crescent White. Seniors getting ready to head to Washington in the morning, leaving out bright and early their annual trip to Washington, D.C. I remember that road trip. Sleeping on that bus isn't easy. <laughs> Pitch on the way. Fouled straight back by Stein. And it's a 0-1 count. Nice pitch by White. One to the count. Handcuff Stein just a bit. It's the top of the sixth inning. It's a 6-5 national lead. That's high for a ball. One and two the count on Brady Stein, the catcher for Nashville. That's a little bit high, and the count evens at two. Yeah, don't give Stein anything he can drive. Don't make it easy for him. No. Stein looks at strike three. Carson White with his third strikeout. Good job by Carson. And or Lucas Crescent. Dunn. Or rather, Crescent. 0 for 1. Bats here. That one. Jesse King. Jesse couldn't quite get the ball together. <laughs> and that allows Dunn to reach on the air. And that'll be Parker Rinkin stepping in. Rinkin doubled one of those blue pit doubles back in the second inning. And came around to score. He bats here with run on, one on, one out. Top of the sixth. Over towards second base, hits the ball. And I think he's going to, yeah, he's out. <laughs> yeah, Puckett, a nice play range into his left. Two outs now. For the second out of the inning. Runner does move to second, and that will bring in Isaac Blazier. Blazier, one for three on the afternoon. You'll need that one more out and tie this game up. Coming up for the Mules in the bottom of the sixth inning. Puckett, Easton, and Marshall. And there's strike one on Isaac Blazier. 0-1 oh, the count. Two outs. 5-6, top of the sixth inning. Nashville leads it. That's a bit outside for ball one. 1-1. One, one. A 
little bit low for ball two, and the count runs two balls, one strike on Isaac Blazier. Leadoff man for the Hornets here. Swing and a miss. Good pitching by Crescent. Nice pitch, and Blazier swinging for the fences there. And there's two strikes now on him. Crescent White trying to get out of this inning. Unscathed, straight up the gut. Out. Tell you what, Jesse safe. King had him played perfectly. Uh-oh. And it uh, looks like... Blazier went down as he tried to round first. Welcome to Tulsa a bit. Loosen up to get up, huh? Looks like he might have twisted his ankle when sliding there. So that will score another run for Nashville. So Dunn comes across to score. And Blazier will be at first for JT Malawi. 0 for 3 on the afternoon. They continue to attend to him. Sarah Turner and the training staff here at FCHS do a great job. Mm -hmm. And they look the kids too. <laughs> they want them to do well all the time. And they're always encouraging them to make good choices. Still attending to Blazier out there. Want to remind you, we've got Bobcat softball tomorrow afternoon for you on Bobcat Nation. It's going to be the Bobcats taking on Lakeland College. A doubleheader starting at 2. The Bobcats softball team taking on Lakeland. A doubleheader starting at 2. We'll be on the air just prior to that for you on Bobcat Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. We've got action Saturday afternoon for you as well, softball and baseball. Mm -hmm. Baseballers will take on John A. Logan in a doubleheader starting at noon on Bobcat Nation, and the softballers are going to play Wabash Valley starting at 12 noon on Mule Nation. And it looks like Coach Fleer might be arguing if that was an out or not. Yeah. Because it looked like to me he was out. <laughs> yeah, uh, Chad Malawi, the coach for Nashville, arguing that it was obstruction. All right, so we'll see what we do here. Okay, Malawi will be at first. And that will bring in, our Blazier will be at first. Malawi will bat now. And that's a ball, just low and outside. Come on, Mule, shake it off. Shake it off, keep working. White throw over to first. And Blazier back easily. Blazier has a pretty big lead out there at first base. Takes off. Carson White down to second, and Blazier in with a stolen base. Close but no cigar. We have two outs here in the top of the sixth inning. It's a Nashville seven. has plated one run, and it's a 7-5 to five ball game right now. Ball low. Three of the count. Pitch on the way. And a strike on the inside corner. The count now three and one. Yanks it foul down the left field line. Does Malawi. And the count now full, three and two. Let's go, Crescent. You got this. Shake it off. Let's get that final out.
Pitch on the way, going to be popped up to the right side and out of play. And that's a walk. Runners on second and first, two outs. Wayne Emmerich coming to the plate. Emmerich, 0 for 2 on the afternoon. Struck out twice and was hit by a pitch and scored in the third. And he was the pitcher in the last inning. That's, that's why we couldn't find him. <laughs> yeah, he's 15. <laughs> okay, I had him as 45 on my roster. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, ha we have two different rosters here. <laughs> Pitching away. Boom. And that one hit. And the bases are now loaded for the cleanup hitter, Harrison Shonina. Strike on the outside corner for Crescent White. We are in the top of the sixth inning here. Nashville leading the Mules 7-5. to five. Beautiful, beautiful afternoon here at Veterans Field. One won the count here. Can't Two think outs. of any place I'd rather be on this beautiful of an afternoon. Me neither. And before I got here, I was cutting my grass. <laughs> Good day for Mellon, too. <laughs> 1-1 one, one delivery on the way. That will score one. And two more score. On the base hit by Shazinia. So it's now a 9-5 Nashville game. So they'll bring runners on second and first. And Coleman, the batter, he's 0 for 3 on the afternoon. <laughs> so the courtesy runner is going to be Parker Schoenberg. For the pitcher. Emmerich. Two outs here, top of the sixth, a 9 5 lead for Nashville. And that one out to left center field. Deep. It's going to score one. Yeah, that's a home run. <laughs> Three run homer. By Sam Coleman. So now a uh, coal bomb, rather. He really bombed that. <laughs> yeah. And I got to say, great effort here by Nashville to keep working. <laughs> yeah. So now it's 12 5. And that home run could make uh, the difference maker there. <laughs> and Diedrich will step into bat now. Outside, ball one. Inside, ball two. In the dirt, ball three.
And that's a four-pitch walk. To Dietrich, and that will bring in Stein, who started things off. We're going to have a timeout here on the mound. We'll take one as well. You're watching Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. With lawn mowers, tractors, utility vehicles, tillers, chainsaws, engine pumps, and more from brands like Echo, Xmark, Kubota, Kubota Engine, and Land Pride, Carter Turf and Tractor at 105 Airport Road in Fairfield is your destination for outdoor power equipment, whether you're a homeowner or a landscape professional. Plus, Carter Turf and Tractor has the parts and accessories you need for any job and the knowledge and experience to take care of all your service and repair needs. Carter Turf and Tractor open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Saturdays, 8 to noon. Rush Appliance and Furniture in Fairfield has everything you need to make your house a home. Appliance brands like Amena, Frigidaire, Whirlpool, and KitchenAid. Furniture from Lazy Boy, Vaughn Bassett, Holland House, and TEI, and mattresses from Sealy. Rush Appliance and Furniture also has LG Electronics and Big Green Egg Grills. Delivery and normal installation are available, plus outstanding service after the sale. Rush Appliance and Furniture, 118 West Main in Fairfield, serving the community since 1949. Open 8 to 5 Monday through Friday and 8 to 3 on Saturday. When you're looking to build, deciding what company to build with is just as important as deciding what to build. Whether it's a pole shed in your backyard, a steel building for your business, or a timber frame home, Walters Buildings wants to be a partner for your building project. Walters Buildings only uses the highest quality materials and the most skilled craftsmen in the industry to construct your building. Contact your area Walters Building representative at waltersbuildings.com. Build with confidence. Build with Walters. Family owned since 1958. Give Carta Trucking in Fairfield a call at 618-842-2022 for all your rock, dirt, gravel, and sand needs. Carta Trucking also has bulk mulch, decorative landscaping rock, and asphalt patch. They'll deliver it for you and also haul your equipment to the job site. They can do excavating for construction work, ponds, future driveways, and building pads. Give Carter Trucking a call at 618-842-2022 and see what they can do for you. Logan Tellis is on to relieve Crescent White. That means White moves back to left field. Harrelson will move to second, and Ian Puckett over to first. I'm pretty sure that is what's going to happen. And after that, you really need a pitching change. <laughs> you want to get out of this inning? Yeah, two outs here. Six runs across the plate here. And Brody Stein, the catcher, will bat for the second time this inning. He was a strikeout victim to start the inning. Tell us. Throws one outside to start off Stein, and that's ball one. Good job by Car Carson White to keep that one in front of him. Twelve five, Nashville leads it. Pitch on the way, that's low for a ball. Outside, and that's a walk. Two stints. Lucas Dunn will bat here, reached on an error and scored earlier this inning. Two outs. Top of the sixth. And Tullis starts off Dunn with a strike. One delivery from Tullis on the way. And that's a little bit low for ball one. one, one. 
One and one the count here on Dunn. Dunn swinging. Pops it up. Yeah, that was Ian Puckett that tried to catch it, but didn't complete it. All right, so. It's another bases loaded. Uh, bases loaded. Four. Parker Renkin doubled and scored back in the first. He has been set down his last two times at bat. He's one for three. And Tellus starts him off with a strike. One delivery on the way. And a foul ball down the left field line. And Chris Fleener still arguing from the dugout here about that foul ball. Bases loaded for Nashville here. And Tellus strikes out Rankin to end the inning. And six runs cross the plate, though, and it's a 6-5 ball game. The bottom of the six coming up. You're watching Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Mule's baseball is brought to you by Black's Flowers and Gifts, Canaan Bridge Church, Carnaby Square, Carter Trucking, Carter Turf and Tractor, Christina Copeland Country Financial, the Conard Financial Group, CSI Insurance Brokers, DiMaggio's Pizza and Pasta, Eagle Supply, the Fairfield Banking Company, FNB Community Bank, Vaman Chevrolet Chrysler, Napa Auto Parts of Fairfield, People's National Bank, RJ on Main, RJ on the Air, Rush Appliance and Furniture, Southern Illinois Whitetail Connection, Vaughn's Tire, Wabash General Hospital, Walters Buildings, Wayne County Farm Bureau, the Wayne County Health Department, and Wayne White Electric Cooperative. With almost 50 years combined experience in the financial services industry, the Cotard Financial Group can help you build a diversified portfolio to keep you on track with your financial goals, whatever they may be. Give the Cotard Financial Group a call at 618-842-7855 to schedule an appointment to discuss financial planning options, ranging from 401ks and IRAs to college savings plans to stocks, bonds, and certificates of deposit. The Cotard Financial Group, investing in your future since 2003. Bottom of the sixth inning, Ian Puckett's going to lead things off for the Mules against Emmerich, Blaine Emmerich. Easton in the on-deck circle, Riley Marshall in the hole. Anybody gets on, we're back to the leadoff with Landon Harrelson. Mules got some work to do. They're trailing here 12-5 as Nashville put up five runs with two outs in the top of the sixth to make it a 12-5 ball game. Emmerich completing his warm-up tosses. Yeah, we have another pitching change from Nashville. 24. 24. That is going to be... Doo -doo 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 -doo. 24 is Parker Schoenberg, who came in to run. 
Schoenberg, another lefty. And Ian Puckett will step in for the Mules here. Puckett said, here's the pitch. Popped up to the right side. And it's going to be caught on the infield for out number one of the inning. Jake Easton 0 for 2 in the afternoon is going to step in now. And he looks at strike one. Inside. One, one. For Jake. One ball, one strike. Parker Schoenberg, the pitcher. Houston swings. That is fouled off the plate. Ball gets away from the catcher and rolls all the way back to the home plate umpire. Two to the count, one out. Bottom of the sixth inning, 12-5, Nashville lead. Kelly Vaughn chiming in. Beautiful day for Mules baseball. The only thing not beautiful about it is the score. If anyone can get anything going, it's Riley Marshall. <laughs> All right, Jake Easton with the infield hit. And Marshall steps in, two for two. Scored a couple of runs, a couple of RBIs for Riley. Bats here with one on, one out. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Up high for a ball. The countdown one and one on Marshall. Marshall bat jacked one out his last at bat. Hit the fence out in left field. Inside for a ball. Two on the count. One out. Runner on first. And Marshall looks at strike two. One out here, bottom of the sixth inning. Mills on the short end of a 12-5 score. Marshall. And that's down for a base hit. Riley Marshall, a three for three afternoon. So we got Marshall on first, Jake Easton on second, and Leonard Harrelson up to bat. Harrelson. One for two on the afternoon. He's scored a couple of runs for the Mules. We got Caleb King on deck. And Logan Tullis in the hole. Timeout is called by Nashville. No visit from the coaches. So Harrelson will step in to face Schoenborn. Up high for ball one. Pitch on the way. 
And that is a called strike on the outside corner. One and one the count now on Landon Harrelson. Inside for a ball. 2-1. We're at the bottom of the sixth inning. 12-5, Nashville leads it. Ball gets away. That allows the runners to advance. And we've got second and third with one out. Harrelson swings down the right, the left field line, and a couple of runs are going to score and land in Harrelson in its second with a double. So now it's a 7-5, 7-12 ball game. 7-12 ball game. Uh, Still one inning. out. Caleb King coming to bat. On deck is Logan Tulls. And the Nashville coach is going to have a little time out on the mound here. We'll take one as well. You're watching Meal Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Whether you're a competitive athlete or want to enjoy a stroll around your neighborhood, orthopedic health is critical to your quality of life. The orthopedic and sports medicine team at Wabash General Hospital treats injuries and disorders of the bones, joints, ligaments, tendons, muscles, and spine, so you can return to moving through life with greater comfort and ease. To schedule an appointment, call 618-263-6400. Pizza is their passion at DiMaggio's Pizza and Pasta in Fairfield. So whether you're ordering a specialty pizza or building your own, you know your pizza will be made with the freshest ingredients and cooked to perfection every time. DiMaggio's also serves up some of the best pasta and salads around. Oh, and don't forget about their sandwiches like the Italian beef or beef Manhattan. Open 11 to 9 Tuesday through Friday and 4 to 9 Saturday and Sunday for dining, carryout, or delivery. Call 618-842-7631 or order online at dimaggios.pizza. Pizza. Your local Napa Auto Parts store at 123 West Delaware in Fairfield is the place to go when you need parts for your car, heavy-duty truck, boat, RV, or tractor. Their knowledgeable staff can help you find the right part to keep you on the road and the right accessory to make your vehicle shine. Plus, they also stock tools, equipment, and many other items to help you get the job done right. Call 618-842-9106 or stop by your local Napa Auto Parts store in Fairfield today to rev up your ride. Are you a small business owner? Say goodbye to bookkeeping headaches. At FNB Financial Tax and Consulting, our top-notch accounting services will keep your finances in order, allowing you to focus on what you do best, growing your business. With FNB Financial, you're not just a client, you're family. Contact us at 618-842-2183 or visit us online at fnbcommunitybank.com. Experience peace of mind with our expert support. Caleb King steps into bat here for the new Nashville pitcher. Twelve to seven, our score. One out here, bottom of the sixth inning. And King looks at the ball low. King, base hit out to center field, and that allows the runner to score from first. Harrelson score. Harrelson did. And King on with his own double. So it's an 8-12 ball game now. I'll tell you what, there is... A lot of fight in this Mules ball club. Yeah, they're not going to give up easily. <laughs> All right, so Logan Tellus bats here. Yeah. 
Tell us a chance to drive in a run. Swings. Deep. And it's gone. A home run from Logan Tullis. And all of a sudden. We're trailing by two again. Yeah. So Tullis goes downtown to left center field. And our score now is 12-10. And here comes Crescent White. And there's still just one out in the bottom of the sixth. They're still alive. <laughs> there's a strike. And a ball, one and one, the count on Crescent White here. That was a moon shot from Logotellas for the two-run homer. Mm -hmm. Wonderful hit. <laughs> we have Stephanie Grieve coming. Way to go, Logan. Couldn't agree more. White fouls that one off at the plate. Another foul ball. White again fouls one off of the plate. Two strikes on Crescent White. He is battling. Mules have played at five after falling behind 12-5. They score down 12-10. Swing and a miss. Ball gets away from the catcher. And the catcher just levels Crescent White. Wow. He wants to get out of this inning. <laughs> So two outs now. They'll bring up Dylan Fleener. And Fleener, the ninth man to come to the plate, or the eighth man to come to the plate for the Mules. <laughs> Fleener looks at a ball, pitch on the way. And that drops in for a strike. That's a good-looking curveball right there. Mm -hmm. Pointer swinging. And that is going to be it. Mules get five, though. It's a 12-10 ball game. We're headed to the seventh. You're watching Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Vaughn's Tire is so much more than just a tire shop. With a new state-of-the-art facility at 1704 West Main Street in Fairfield, Vaughn's Tire can diagnose and fix just about anything that puts your ride on the sideline. From no appointment necessary oil changes to alignments, exhaust, general automotive repairs, and of course tires, Vaughn's Tire is the place to go when your vehicle needs to get back on the road. Open 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to noon on Saturday. Give them a call at 618-842-2422 and schedule your appointment at Vaughn's Tire in Fairfield. It's a beautiful day in Fairfield, isn't it? Introducing a new weekly podcast on Friday mornings at 8.30 a.m. on YouTube. It's a beautiful day in Fairfield. Featuring local events and news, special guests, birthdays, anniversaries, trivia, and more. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel at RJ on the Air. Aiden Martin coming on in relief of Logan Tullis here. The fourth pitcher used by the Mules this afternoon. Martin, the lefty, is going to face the top of the order here in the top of the seventh. Isaac Blazier, JT Malawi, and Blaine Emmerich. Anybody gets on? Harrison Zonina.
Heels fell behind 6-0. They made it 6-5, then fell behind 12-5, then scored 5 to make it 12-10. That's where we stand right now. So the Mules, they really, really need a 1-2-3 inning here from Martin. Mm -hmm. Blazier steps in. He is one for four on the afternoon. Malawi, 0 for three. And Emmerich is one for three. The top of the order hasn't, I mean, they've scored some runs, but they haven't produced as much. Martin completing his warm-up tosses. There's the throw down a second, and Blazier will step in. Mules are needing a 1-2-3 inning here. Well, just don't let anybody score. Mm -hmm. And then you got to score three. <laughs> Martin set to the lefty Blazier. And that's a little bit low and inside for a ball. Hit the right leg of the umpire. That's why they wear the shin guards, too. Mm -hmm. One and oh, the count now on Blazier. Martin with the pitch, Blazer swings over to second. And Landon Harrelson over at second, throws him out for the first out of the inning. They just need two more just like that. <laughs> One out, top of the seventh, Malawi will step in. 0 oh for 3, did walk and score back in the sixth, though. And the Mules get Talon Hickson ball into the lineup, replacing Landon Harrelson. These seniors leaving bright and early for Washington, D.C. tomorrow morning. And Martin starts off Malawi with a strike. One on the count now. One out. 10-12 ball game. All right, just getting word that the Bobcats softball doubleheader tomorrow moved up to 1 o'clock, a 1 o'clock start now for that doubleheader against Lakeland. Two on the count. Well, now he fouls that off. Popped up by Malawi. Caught. And it's caught for the second out of the inning. And Emmerich will step in now. Emmerich's been hit twice by a pitch this afternoon. And he's 0 for 2. He struck out his other two at bats. 
I'd be wary if I were Blaine Emmerich of anything on the inside. That's low for a ball. We are in the top of the seventh inning. It's a 12-10 ball game. Mules looking to get back to get the bats rolling in the bottom of the seventh. Outside ball two. They just need one more out. Aiden Martin, the fourth mule pitcher this afternoon and into the early evening hours. Outside ball three. Do not want to lose him. Don't want so Nina to come to bat. And that's in for a strike. Three one to count. Zanina off the end of the bat. Single. And into right field for a base hit. That brings in Sozinha. He scored three runs this afternoon. A couple of base hits, a walk. Actually, three base hits. A single, a double, and a single. And he looks at ball one outside. Two outs here, one on. Mule's trying to get out of the top of the seventh and get three runs across the plate in the seventh, in the bottom of the seventh for the win. Ball gets away from Carson White. That allows the runner, Emmerich, to move up to second. So Nina looks at a ball low. Don't want to leave him something out in the middle of the plate, but you don't want to lose this guy either. Mm -mm. You want to get that final out. Martin with the delivery. That's outside for a ball, and that's a walk to Zonina. Sam Kohlbaum will bat now. Kohlbaum, two for four. A home run in the sixth. Runners at first and second, two out. Aiden with the pitch, Aiden Martin, and that's a strike. Ball gets away from White, and runners advance. It looks like the lights are starting to come on. Sun's setting. Martin with the pitch. Two strikes now on Colbaum. One more strike. Let's get out of the inning here. Indeed. Martin set. Pitch is on the way. A little bit low for a ball. That went fouled off at the plate. Twelve to ten, our score. Mules have scored three in the third, two in the fifth, and five in the sixth. Aiden Martin trying to get out of the top of the seventh, and that is a called third strike. Couple left on. Nobody scores. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's a two-run ball game. You're watching Mule Nation, powered by R.J. Marketing. 
Let Black's Flowers and Gifts in downtown Fairfield make someone smile with some flower therapy. Whether they deserve a high five or need to feel better, a beautiful fresh floral arrangement from Black's will fit the bill. Also check out Black's for that perfect gift. They carry home decor, locally made jewelry, soaps and candles, candy and snack baskets, and balloon bouquets. For flower therapy or gifts for any occasion, see Black's Flowers and Gifts at 310 East Main in Fairfield or call 618-847-7076. You need insurance to help protect the things that mean a lot to you. You need coverage that's affordable because we all have a budget. I'm Christina Copeland, and at Country Financial, we get it. For close to 100 years, we've offered insurance and financial services to help protect what's most important to you and help you prepare for the future. Best of all, we aim to get to know you and find solutions for your budget. In other words, we've got your back. I'm Country Financial Rep Christina Copeland. Call me at 618-842-2185 to chat about your insurance needs today. Carson White will bat first for the Mules here in the bottom of the seventh inning. With the Mules down, 12 to 10. Needing three for the W. Mm -hmm. And how big of a win would that be for the Mules? Very big. To knock off 17 and one Nashville here. It'd be like winning a regional. <laughs> It'd be big. So Carson White steps in. Nashville pretty much out of pitchers. Oh, they do have a new pitcher on the mound. We'll get a number for you. Number six. It is still six? Yeah. Okay, so they do not have a new pitcher. 1-0 the count, and there's strike one on Carson Wright. Make that 1-1 one, one now. One ball, one strike on Carson White here. Pitch on the way outside, ball two. Two balls, one strike. Meals need base runners. Carson White swings, and the count evens at two. Got away from the catcher. White goes down to first and is thrown out. For the first out of the inning. And for the Mules here, Ian Puckett will bat. Puckett need, uh, Mules need two to tie, three to win. I'd say let's just get three. Mm -hmm. Make it more dramatic, let's do it with two outs. That's outside. That's ball. Was that a strike? Uh, I, It looked like a ball. That's what I thought, too. Okay. It'll be a 1-1 one, one count. 1-1 one and one the count on Puckett here, yeah. That's low for a ball. 2-1. Two, Two balls, one strike. Wind has died down, now two and two as Puckett swung through that one. And the sun's going down too. Well, you can see the lights coming on. Foul. Swings, fouls it off. And the count remains one and two. Or two and two rather. One out. Full count. Three and two. The count now on Ian Puckett. Mules need base runners here. One out. Bottom of the seventh inning. Mules on the short end of a 12-10 score. And that is a walk. And Ian Puckett heads down to first. And that will bring in Jake Easton. He 
base and a base hit came around to score in the sixth. Mets here with one on, one out. Bottom of the seventh. Mules down by two. Easton swinging on the first pitch, and that's strike one. Ball gets away from the catcher, and Neal's Ian Puckett moves up to second base. Runner in scoring position here, one out. Bottom of seven, one and one the count. One ball, one strike on Jake Easton. Easton swings. Caught. That's two outs in the inning. Heels down to their last out. Riley Marshall, three for three on the afternoon, is going to bat here. Tell you what, if I'm Nashville, I'd think about walking Riley Marshall, and I think that's what they're doing. Yeah, they're going to have a little chit-chat on the mound. I think they'll walk Marshall. Bring up Landon Harrelson. Harrelson's had a pretty good day at the plate as well. We'll see what Nashville wants to do. They are going to pitch to Marshall. Two outs here, runner at second. Heels down by two, bottom of the seventh inning. Marshall swings through strike one. He chased that one. That one was a bit high to the outside. And that's strike two. Good pitching. <laughs> Two strikes on Marshall. Going to have to shorten up that stroke just a bit. Just try and keep the thing in play. Make him, make him throw you out. Indeed. Pitch on the way. Swings through. That as a strike. And that will do it. The Mules drop a close one. 12-10 to the Nashville Hornets. The final score. 12 to 10. We've got the post-game show coming up. This is Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. It's Ram Truck Month Jeep at celebration event continues Ram has at recently repriced new 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Ram trucks. Recent factory these price factory reductions, price reductions with current rebates plus Le Mans discount equals $9,500 in total value savings on new HD Ram. 2023 Jeep Gladiator Eco Diesel Ram 2800 MPG. trucks are on the way. 23% Le Mans off MSRP with savings of 13,418 Ram Truck Month ends April 30th. These April 30th at Le Mans Chrysler, 412 East Main Fairfield and LeMansOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Mules Baseball is brought to you by Black's Flowers and Gifts, Canaan Bridge Church, Carnaby Square, Carter Trucking, Carter Turf and Tractor, Christina Copeland Country Financial, the Conard Financial Group, CSI Insurance Brokers, DiMaggio's Pizza and Pasta, Eagle Supply, the Fairfield Banking Company, FNB Community Bank, Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler, Napa Auto Parts of Fairfield, People's National Bank, RJ on Main, RJ on the air, Rush Appliance and Furniture, Southern Illinois Whitetail Connection, Vaughn's Tire, Wabash General Hospital, Walters Buildings, Wayne County Farm Bureau, the Wayne County Health Department, and Wayne White Electric Cooperative. Meals fall to se uh, eight and eight overall, or uh, rather seven and nine overall. My mistake with the twelve ten loss to Nashville. Nashville. Scoring four runs in the second, two in the third, five in the sixth for their total of 12. The Mules get three in the third, two in the fifth, and five in the sixth for their total of 10 on the night. Really, really good effort by the Mules in trying to come back and get to this one. Our next broadcast is going to be coming up. Tomorrow 
It's going to be Frontier Community College softball, a doubleheader versus Lakeland College. It's now a 1 p.m. start. You can hear that one on Bobcat Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Friday, you want to make sure and join us on RJ on the Air, the YouTube site. It's a beautiful day in Fairfield, 8.30 a.m., featuring Frontier baseball players Sam Sandy and Ethan Davis. Saturday, a couple of games for you. Baseball doubleheader with Frontier versus John A. Logan at 12 noon on Bobcat Nation. And then a softball doubleheader with Wabash Valley starting at 12 p.m. That one on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. That's what we have coming up for the weekend for you. As Chris Fleener looks like he's making his way up to the booth. I want to say happy birthday once again to Mule sophomore baseball player Carlos Hernandez. Celebrating a birthday this afternoon at the ballpark. What better place to celebrate a birthday than at the ballpark? Chris Fleener making his way up to the booth. We get a few words from him on this one. Really, really good effort by the Mules here tonight. They'll be off until Tuesday when they'll be taking on the Flora Wolves. Players in the press box picking up some equipment to drag the field, make it all nice. And we'll let Chris Fleener slide up here and slide on the headsets. I'll tell you what, Chris, uh, you can uh, not fault the effort this afternoon. <laughs> no, uh, got to figure out how to put these things on. Um, you know, I'm proud of the boys. Uh, they, they didn't quit. They, they, they stepped up there in the late in the innings and started hitting the ball. And, you know, they're throwing several different pitches at us. And, or, you know, the, they had a couple of big lefties they threw right there. And, uh, you know, Nashville is a very respectful team. They're well coached. And uh, I'm just so proud of our boys for battling back. And, and you know, we gave ourselves a shot. You know, you got the tying run up at the plate. So, uh, you know, we had some opportunities right there. And early on, we just couldn't get the big hits. But. Good time with his Riley Marshall. Yeah. Three for four this afternoon yeah. Yeah. from the number nine hole. I'm glad he brought his bat today because he, <laughs> he, he got every rally going almost. Yeah. Yeah, so he really did a great job for us. And, you know, as a senior, that's what you expect, and you want your seniors to step up and, and, and you know, get things going for you like that. So I was proud to see him, uh, you know, take the spot of the DH and, and, and roll with it. Now your next broad, your next game is going to be Tuesday against Flora back into conference action. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to have some tired seniors coming back as they head off to Washington <laughs> early, early in the morning. Yeah, they're going to sleep all the way back. So they should be really <laughs> rested, to be honest with you. But, yeah, uh, and it's, it's good to get away and get a break like that. And, uh, you know, uh, it gives the other guys opportunity to do stuff in practice and, and work on some other stuff. But, you know, uh, we're moving the Hamco game to May 6th. That way we're, yep. not, we're not going to play that tomorrow because we have some seniors gone. But um, So they'll have a little fun on that trip in Washington, D.C., and, and they'll be back with us on Tuesday when we go against Florida. And Florida's got a good team, so they got to come back ready to go right away. You betcha. Chris, uh, again, thanks for the visit and a hey. great effort tonight. All right, thank you. Appreciate you guys coming Appreciate out. Appreciate it. Chris Fuena, the Mules head coach, they dropped this one 12-10, to 10, the final, and the Mules fall to 7-9 and nine overall. But uh, – I have nothing to be ashamed of against a very, very good Nashville team. Again, the final, the Mules drop this one 12 10 to the Nashville Hornets. For Alec Vaughn, I'm Mark Turner. Our next broadcast tomorrow, 1 o'clock. The Frontier Community College Bobcats take on Lakeland College, 1 o'clock at Southwest Park. That one on Bobcat Nation. Again, for Alec Vaughn, I'm Mark Turner. Have a good evening, everyone.